So we're getting ready to move tomorrow. That means we go to the storage bins and pick up all of our eBay inventory. We got a few bins that we have to keep in the trailer, but most of it will go on the back of the truck. I just go along for moral, right. su moral support to Mike because <laughs> I can't even think about lifting a bin. They're too heavy. So we got <laughs> 10 totes to put in the truck and we're here now. This is what's left in our storage unit. Mike's got to get all the rest of these and put them into the back of the truck, get ready for our trip. So getting ready to do that. Getting there. A few more to go. <laughs> and there you go. Loaded. Ten totes. How'd that feel, Mike? That was a nice little workout. Yeah. <laughs> He's got knee pads. That helps, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when you get older and your knobby knees, it hurt. <laughs> so that part's done. We're empty. So this was a this was an eight by ten. Not bad. They charge fifty five dollars a month. Yeah. Make that up using eBay. Oh yeah. So done deal. It's moving day. Finally, we get to leave Montesino. We've been here two months and we get to leave today. It was pretty foggy when we woke up this morning, but it's, it's clearing up now. But yeah, we got the trailer packed up, truck packed up. Animals are worried that they're gonna get left. I don't know why they worry about that, but they do. So, just got to unhook the sewer and all that stuff and pull in the slides and hook up the trailer and we're on the road. You see how packed the truck is. Lots of stuff in there. Looks like all the cubby holes are filled too. <laughs> Poor Sophie. Don't leave me. Bringing in the slide. It's always exciting when you get to pack up and move to another spot. That's one of the things about living in an RV. You don't got to stay in one place. I wasn't, you know, the happiest here in Montesano. It wasn't, it wasn't that bad once I got used to it. But it was just, I don't know, boring. It was very boring here. But it's okay. I get to I get to move on. I don't live here. I get to go on someplace else. There's that slide. We got both both these slides in. One more to go on the other side. And there goes the final slide. And the best job of all Mike gets. This is his job. <laughs> yeah. I did turn the hose on for him, so hey, there's that. And he gets to have me tape him while he plays with it, so hey, there's that too. <laughs> Hardest part for me is guiding it in to hook it up. That's the hard part. Hey, we did it though. Now Mike's hooking up these stabilizer bars. Here we go. All hooked up. On the road again we go. Think it's gonna stop for me? Yep. Okay, see when we get we there. We made it to our next campground. Look at, we have a little yard. See our little yard? 
We have a little yard. Um, there's the backyard. Looks like somebody's farm or something. It's a. This is a pretty nice campground. I, li I like it here. We gotta do the whole setup stuff now, but it took us about two hours to get here. I'll show you look what we look like when we get set up. All set up. Nice little yard that we got this time. Satellite can go in the backyard. We got everything set up in the trailer. Cats are fed. They gotta go take a nap now. And we're gonna go eat. We're all set up. Look at this yard compared to the last place we were at. <laughs> Big difference. Yeah. We, we really like this RV park. This is pretty nice. I haven't uh, checked out the bathrooms yet, but you know, I have my own bathroom, so it's okay. Um, Mike looks contented. He's got his yard set up. The dog is happy. She's got all this area. <laughs> So yeah, we're pretty happy. It's not very big. I'm not sure how many spots are in here. Um, but it's clean, it's quiet, it's nice. This is Cedar Glen in Poswell, Washington. They do full time and they do overnighters.